Wagwan people. So, uh, I managed to get to sleep last night about uh, just after half eleven, I'd say. Uh, which is good. But then I woke up at five. Which isn't so good because I don't feel like I've slept. And the reason I woke up at five is because I dreamt about my kids. And then it wasn't a very nice dream. Like, basically, they were upset. And they were crying. They were calling for me. But I couldn't get to them. And, uh, yeah, it's not very nice. It's like I couldn't get them. I was trying to get to them. And, uh, I just woke up. And it's just like, it's upset me. Like, my depression is definitely kicking the absolute crap out of me at the minute. And I'm trying my hardest to be strong. People keep telling me to be strong, but I ain't got no strength. I'm losing it. I've lost it. I've lost myself. So, uh, got up at five, had a coffee. I haven't eaten yet, but I will do when I get back from the dog walk. Harry's happy. He's out. Um, yeah, I just, I just feel dreadful, I just feel useless, worthless, like, I'm trying my hardest to keep my head above water, but it's just like I'm just drowning constantly, I get up, and I get knocked down, I get up, and I get knocked down, just constant, constant, it's just a fight, fight after fight every day. Just like wake up with a broken heart and uh, just waking up every day for like 17 months now with my heart broken in like a million pieces and um, just basically living behind a fake smile some people bring me out of this shit they do sorry I shouldn't have sworn some people bring me out of this but I don't get kept out of it, I'm always in it. I'm always in this, always in this mood, always in this situation. I just feel like you, I just feel so useless. Worthless, just horrible. Um, I don't feel like a, a good person at all. I don't feel like a good dad, a good father. I even start not feeling like a good friend to a lot of people. This is why I come out here because it is just absolutely beautiful out here. So, yeah, it's just gone seven in the morning. I'm now in the cornfield. My nose is still blocked. There's loads of shit up there from, from when I crashed my car. I know it's all dry blood and that, but I can't blow my nose because my teeth hurt. In fact, yesterday when I blew my nose, I thought my teeth were going to fall out. So, yeah, I just miss my kids, man. Just had enough of this feeling. And although, like I said, I'm trying to just get on with it. And I'm just trying to keep my head above water. And, you know, some people, so I've got some friends out there, they ring me up in the daytime sometimes. And, People message me, like my mate messaged me late last night. She, you know, she, she, shows, she shows me a lot of concern. She, she's concerned about me because she knows. Um, but this weekend I have behaved. I haven't really drank. I had a couple of beers the whole weekend. I've stayed in, I'm staying in now. I ain't going anywhere. Get the sun. Sun's just over there. It's lovely, isn't it? But yeah, I just, just I've had enough. That's how I feel. I just feel like I just can't be bothered anymore. I don't even know what I'm fighting for. It's like I just lost faith, lost hope. I feel like I'm always upset. I feel like I'm always upsetting people. I'm trying my best to do my best, but doesn't feel like my best. I know only I can get myself out of this, but it just it ain't working, man. 
it's just literally, it's just ridiculous. Every single day, I have my good and I have my bad days, but it just seem, the bad seem to be outweighing the good, which is not good at all. I've never been like this in my life. And this is all because I'm being kept away from my kids. No help, no support, nothing. Only from friends and family. But there should be professional help out there for people like me. You know, yeah, I get in therapy. I'm on tablets, which I don't like taking because they just make me feel like... They make me feel worse. And, uh, yeah. It's just, just, it's just becoming a joke, the whole thing. It's like... What do I do? I don't want to give up. I've never given up on anything. Like, literally. And kids are my world. But I just don't feel like I'm made for this world. I mean, how mad is that? To be feeling like that. 41 years old. And I feel like I've had enough already. I feel like all them times that I'm at, uh, Wiped, nearly wiped off this planet but maybe I should have just got wiped off this planet it's just mad not that I'm not suicidal or nothing like that not like you know that bad but I do not feel good I really don't I just feel like enough is enough now I need to do something about this but I don't know what what do you do about this? Anyway, so, I had my nightmare last night. Yeah, just, I just, I'm done, I really am. But I've just got to keep moving forward. Like I said, I feel like I've lost myself. I've lost it all, I don't think I'll ever get it back. I had it all before, lost it all, had it all, lost it all. That's how, that's how just constantly how you feel. And I just want something good to happen. You know, I feel lonely. Boredom kicks in. I feel like, I feel like nothing I do is good enough. And uh, it's destroying me, it's destroying my mind. See, it start off with a broken heart and then it moves into my mind. Then I just start overthinking, get paranoid. Start thinking that people don't like me. Maybe it's just because I just don't like myself. Like, I had some positive stuff happen to me this year. In fact, I had something really positive happen, but I couldn't maintain it. I could not maintain it. And that's what's destroying me. It's one of the things that's destroying me. Like, it's just an uphill struggle. Like I've got loads of weights on me, loads of things pulling me down. Like the world is on my shoulders, and I need it to lift off. But I need help. But you know, all I seem to do is push people away, push push people I love away, hurt people I love, let my family down. Let my children down, let my friends down. You know, I, I, had, I had love this year, you know. I had that, but I couldn't keep it. And uh, that feeling that I had, it was the best feeling in the world. Like, I had such a good time and I lost it all. All because of my stupid ass mind. There you go. That was it. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yes. Well, it's my mind's telling me no, but my heart was telling me yes. And now I just wish it was my heart telling me, my mind telling me yes, and my body telling me, and my heart telling me yes, sorry. But no, it doesn't work out like that. Not when you feel like this. It's horrible. It really is. I'm just like still walking around the cornfield. Harry's, uh, he's happy. He's, uh, on his walk. Which way you want to go, mate? You go that way. So, right, I'm going to go up this way, because I'll let Harry decide. 
what she's seen. Come on. Don't drive that way, there's too many dogs. And you'll wear yourself out. He loves it, this dog. But he has to go on a big walk. He's a big dog, Harry. For a Labrador, he's a big dog. He's incredibly, uh, he's incredibly stupid, very playful. He just gets well over carried away. And he ends up just like playing with dogs that don't want to play with him. And then he ends up like, he don't hurt him, but he's such a big dog. He's got so much weight on him. He's like 40 kg, 41 kg, he's a lab, Labrador. But um, he's got nothing in between his eyes. He's not really got much of a brain. And then again, he's like me really, I suppose. But yeah, so today, it started off bad, which is not a good sign. Because if it starts off bad, it means I've got a lot of work to try and pick myself back up now. But there you go. Only I can pick myself up. Well, there's some people out there, like I said, that do. I've got certain mates that call me up and we talk and uh, it lifts my mood, it really does. But um, there's one particular friend that I talk to and she's the one that I effed it all up with this year. My biggest regret, um, so badly regret what I've done because I could have had it all, like always, I could have, should have, could have, would have, hey? And that's one way I've got to stop looking at it, I know, but I can't. I can't switch off from it. Just constantly thinking about it. I'm so tired. Literally probably got five hours sleep. And then because of the nightmare, it's like you're just constantly battling, battling my thoughts, thinking, do my kids love me? What do they think of me? You know, I've got a lot of people out there that don't like me making up a lot of nasty stuff about me, trying to get me hurt, trying to get me in trouble. And uh, I don't care about them. Like, I don't care about myself anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. I really have lost my way. But there you go. It is what it is. Again, like I said, I've just got to keep moving forward. I've just got to keep fixing myself. Because no one else is going to do it for me. But, um... Like my mate, Eddie Bates, all the way in Australia, love you brother. He said to me the other day, I need to find someone. Someone who I can share this with, someone who can take this pain away. But like I said, I had that. But my mind wouldn't allow me to keep it. And now my heart's broken even more. My heart has been broken for 17 months now because of this kid situation. And... Uh, I've got my mate, MF Andal, Michael Farrell, love brother. And <laughs> he's been battling this a lot longer than me. And I tell you what, anyone like him, I respect you, man. Because this ain't easy. This is not easy, yeah? And I mean, I've been doing it for a tiny bit of time. He's been doing this for a long time. And I don't know how... He's managed to keep it well. He's got his music. Check him out, yeah? MF Vandal on YouTube. He's actually doing an anti-knife crime thing. Doing some songs and stuff. He'll be on stage on the 12th. Down on the high street, High Wycombe. Try and get your asses down there. That'd be worth it. It's also for a good cause. You know, I've lost a few mates and stuff for knife crime. As we do live in a real messed up society. A real messed up society. Yeah, kids. Kids are turning feral. That's what it is. They've got no respect, no morals. Now, I know a lot of, you know, a lot of guys, big guys, yeah, that did a lot of bad things in their lives, but they have respect to morals, man. They actually, you know, now they're trying to do something for the for the youth, they're, they're trying to divert them away from this type of life. But pff, fair play to them, man. But you know, these kids, they're bred differently. It's because kids are having kids. This is the problem. This is the society we live in. Drugs are really bad. 
you know, everyone's on them now. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna go because uh, I've got some dogs and stuff coming up. Harry, come on. Um, yeah, so I've got to try and pull myself out of this now. But love to my people, love to everyone who subscribed to me, liked my stuff, commented on my stuff. Anyone who's speaking to me, anyone who's supporting me, anyone who's trying to pull me out of this dark place, thank you. Sorry to anyone that I've hurt along the way. All I'm, all I'm doing now is hurting myself, I can tell you that. But anyway, people, love to you all. Uh, have a good week. Nice weather's in now. At least we can get outside, eh? Peace, love, respect to you all. And uh, I'll, see you all, I'll see all you guys soon, yeah?